now, welcome back to the real students of Murdoch High. Interview one of me. Hi, my name is Dan Johnson. I'm from the Journalism Club, last member. Didn't want to really do this assignment, but the principal wanted some interviews. So I'll start with me. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm Chad, and I'm doing this for extra credit <laughs> because my teacher said I'm going to fail. Um, I do 20 push ups daily, and that's my fitness regimen. The rest of it is all natural. Would you like to join the band? We need new members. We had a fundraiser going the other day, but no one showed up. I think they are afraid of the true power that we hold as a unit. You know, when we congregate, the world shatters to the sounds of our saxophones. Joe, the trombonist, why, his music is quite incredible. I can see why they'd be scared. I had a tromboning accident. It shattered my elbows. Although now I am the drum major. They accommodated for my needs and my disability. I'm quite good. Yeah, there are a lot of weird people at this school. Like, um, there's this one girl, she's like all emo, and she says she's like Satan's daughter. Isn't that crazy? Hey. I'm Onyx, daughter of Satan. I don't really want to be here right now. Um, my dad's like forcing me to come. He said it would be good to like socialize and like meet new people. I don't really like it here. I think it's way better down in hell. You know, a lot of people say that like, I just say that I'm the daughter of Satan as like pr part of my goth personality or whatever. But, like, honestly, my personality is more, like, paper clips. Um, but, like, if they don't believe me, that's fine. Like, they're lost, I guess. My brother's over in the other room. He's probably losing his mind in there. But he, he'll, uh, I hope you enjoy the interview with him. Boom! Dan, what's up, man? Just thought I'd crash. I'm on crash your little meeting here. Crash your little, uh gathering, interview, whatever you call it. Uh, see what's going on. Um, my high school experience is cool. I got a lot of friends, a lot of uh, time on my hands. Uh, and it, I, immediately, I, I skip classes, but who needs, um, uh, who needs history, right? I think my brother may be scared of violence. He has a group of students that uh, do stuff on the sidelines. They on a tutoring ring. At least they're being helpful. Hi, my name's Sadie. My favorite subjects are math, English, history, and science. Basically all the subjects. I also participate in many of the after school clubs and am the president of most of them, including the quantum physics club, the marine biology, the chess club, and the debate club. Honestly, for me, school is the most important thing as it will allow you to get very far in life and have a great career. I don't understand those jocks who say that school doesn't mean anything as honestly, if they don't have school, then they won't even be able to participate in sports and do all the things that they do. I hit the ball with bats, not like baseball bats. My arms, they're my bats, cause like, Strong as a bat, you know? Like solid steel. Band is the epitome of sports. I know you all watch your football and your baseball or whatever, but without band, there would be no halftime. There would be no introductions. There would be no pep rallies. They would just be people standing and cheering. How lame is that? But then there's also this one kid who like never talks and he really just doesn't do anything. Um, I'm not even sure if he still like goes to the school. Do you, do you know his name? Camera guy? Uh, Dan Johnson. Oh, is that his name? Really, how do you know that? Uh, that, that's his name. <gasps> no way, what's up Dan? Anyways, so I was walking and the 
um, banned locker room the other day because people kept keep stealing my paper clips and they were doing this like sacrificial ritual thingy and it really was just kind of pathetic and I'm like I do rituals every night before bed and you're really not like accomplishing anything and I really think that they could like use my help I am interested in a relationship with the a and kid but fortunately I don't think she knows I exist which is a complication but something I'll overcome eventually maybe in my 30s I mean I don't know if you know I was wondering if you would join me to the dance a relationship would distract me. I plan to die alone with my tuba, for my life is banned. My passion is music. I cannot relate to your enthusiasm, but I have journalism. Has journalism ever shattered your elbows? Journalism is a pseudo field. Um, yeah, so there's like a school dance coming up. And my dad is like pushing me to go, and I don't really want to go. But like, I guess Chad's gonna be there, so that's okay. Sweaty, gross, hot meat bag. But um, he's like, I won't. I was just like seeing if he was going to a dance with anyone, and I was like, cool, he might be like really lonely, and you know, humans are so sad and pathetic. And I was just thinking maybe like he needs someone to go with so i was like um, i asked dad to possess chad just like to help him and he was like no i can't possess your classmates or whatever i was like why not coming up next week on the real students of murdoch high a tutoring ring is exposed tutoring ring i feel it is my duty to clear up any misconceptions about the tutoring ring as it is a perfectly legitimate business to help all of the people increase their grade levels by studying harder well obviously a little pocket change is pretty nice so as we're helping them it seems only fair that we get a little bit of payment we also have several prestigious members of our tutoring club such as olivia jade Um, Wasa, I'm Anonymous, and I'm here to talk about my experience in the tutoring ring.